Hi, in this sequence I'm going to uh, change the valve clearance on the number 6 exhaust valve. It's uh, running at 19 right now and I want to open that up about 2 thousandths to 21. So I'm going to change the shim. So this sequence will show that process. I've already set the cams in balance on the exhaust stroke of number 6 uh, cylinder and uh, the cams are lined up on their timing marks. So I'm going to loosen the uh, tensioner. Tensioner is loose now. And then I'm going to remove the, valve, the uh, cam bearing cap. Nuts are removed. Remove the washers. The washers have a chamfer. Hard washers. Install them with the chamfer up when you put them back. Remove the bearing caps. I, I use a muffin tin to keep the parts separate, simple, and fast. So I'm going to, I've made a mark on the cam previously to line up with the chain, the same place. I'm going to set that cam down. I use a little suction cup to remove the keeper, the cup I mean. The keeper's down inside here, stuck on usually. Remove that <clears throat> shim. I'm going to, it's a 325, 3, 3.25 millimeter shim. I'm going to replace it with a 3.2 millimeter shim. And that'll give me 2,000 more clearance. Put the cap, put the shim back on the valve stem. Reinstall the cup follower, set the cam back in, line it up with the mark on the cam. Put the bearing caps back on, noting the proper alignment and position of the caps. They each have their own special place. The system of marking has been discussed before. I happen to be working on the PE head and it's marked with PE, PE, and then there's a slight dash mark here and a dash mark down here. And the front cap has no marks other than the PE. So the, self, the centering cap is self-evident. The two end caps are the ones you can get mixed up. So watch for the dash mark and the dash mark to line up the cam. Bearing caps. Reinstall the washers. Chamfer side up, like I said. Now the nuts. Nuts don't have an up or a down, but I like to keep them in the same place so the shiny side is down. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference. I guess it's just one of my idiosyncrasies. Nuts are loosely installed. <clears throat>
Going back down. Set the twenty foot pounds. Twenty foot pounds. Okay, they're back on. Now I'll roll it around and put the uh, load 90 degrees to the cup and check the clearance.